other side of the road. We're we'll looking at you. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Josie. We are in Sarawak on the island of Borneo. Borneo. <laughs> Borneo. And today we are going to explore as much as we can for the time that we are here. And we're going to see some very special animals. Oh, it's got a baby. It's right there. And drink some very special things. What one's your favorite? My favorite. Your favorite. My favorite. Milo. Milo, yeah, 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 same. Let's go. We are walking along this beautiful river here and it is so hot here. It is so hot here in Sarawak. It's easily 20, 30 degrees. Oh, I almost lost my sunnies. 20, 30 degrees more hot, more hot, hotter than it was in Penang um, or wherever we were, wherever we last were in Malaysia. I can't even remember. I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere, man. All right, so this is a beautiful, beautiful building back here but this is a beautiful river there's boats there's restaurants there's food there's sun here in Sarawak but I'm excited for what we're about to do so hang tight come with me and let's hope we can get a clear sky today let's hope let's hope we really need some no rain so cross your fingers and let's go hi hello oh well you get a very very accurate pickup point oh yes. good <laughs> Australia. 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 Twenty ringgit. Ringgit. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Twenty. Yeah. Yes. Ten. Okay, so we made it to the Semengo. Semengo. Semengo Nature Reserve, and we're here to see the orangutans. I <laughs> know that's not how you say it, but it's just funny. And I'm really excited. There was a place we we're going to go, but it was about a 12-hour round trip each way. Um, but that's when they were going to be fully in the wild. So these ones, I think, is just like a conservation it's nature conservation. park where they, can come, they can come and go. So they're not like trapped in a zoo, which I don't think is very nice for them. So at least this one gives them um, freedom and some um, access to the wild and everything while still making sure that they get fed. So that's what I like about this one. But apparently it is a one kilometer walk up this hill. So let's see how far we get before. But then at least coming back, it's one kilometer down, down the hill. hill. That's true. All right, let's head up here. And let's see if we can see the orangutans. It's around 20 past two and I think they get fed at three so let's go towards them I'm so excited monkeys are like my favorite animal oh yeah I forgot Michael loves monkeys I don't know why my favorite animal is probably a capybara or a seal well, or a dog her, oh yeah dog her animals are dogs but like... yeah <laughs> Michael's watching a boxing match while we're walking I should mention that because this is sort of the wild there's actually no guarantee of us seeing an orangutan today so um you know what, if they want to be free and not be here today, that's fine. But because we're here around feeding time, we should get to see them because they should know to come back. But I'm gonna be honest, you, you can get now. it. You should, yeah, if this is the one, we should be looking up to see. That was off. really loud. <laughs> we should be looking up to see if they're around. You can get a buggy, but that option wasn't given to, <sighs> given to us. <laughs> they could be around here maybe. All the orangutans. So stop right now, leave a comment in the comments below and let me know, do you think we'll find an orangutan today? Let me know, tell me in the comments, are we gonna see one, are we not? Tell me your guess right now. So that, that? It's an orangutan nest. That's an orangutan nest. So they make nests, not like birds where they're there for a while, they make a handful of nests per day. Really? Yeah, it's like perch. This thing? Yep. Oh. Um, okay, we just spoke to the lady up there and she said that there's already an orangutan over here getting ready to be fed and it's early. Apparently he's there early. This is the main feeding area and everyone's gathered over this way. So I think it's up here. This is it. There he is. He's up. Oh, I fell. He's up. <laughs> he's up there in the tree and they just fed him something and you have to be quiet, which is hard for me. But also, they're also wild animals still remember. So you can't like, you have to be careful of you know, your distance and stay back behind the rails and everything like that because they can still spread like diseases and like hurt you and attack you and things. So keep that in mind. So he just said that there's a few over there, but they look like they don't want to move. Apparently they're very comfortable, but he has like a whole bunch of bananas here laid out for them. Um, and he said that they are going to feed other ones in different areas. Um, but this one's like right here and he's just playing with his bottle. He's so cute. He's like eating, but like looking back. 
<laughs> he bent down before and then they gave him like a but oh it's going up they gave him like a banana then he went back down and put like four in his mouth i missed it but so cute so we're all basically hiking through the bush now <laughs> to see the other ones apparently there's a mum and a baby oh <gasps> it's right there in the tree look where love you here telling the family trees of the um of the orangutans and there's one over here and whew, it was like a baby and it like died and then the mother they couldn't find out what happened because the mum like didn't want to like let go of her baby's like body her cheek pads when they get older and he's the, he's the next in line to richie who's the who's the big boss yeah. actually it's his big boss <laughs> okay so we're gonna head back now it was really hot and they're kind of closing up they don't have the feeding session for long but this is a like conservation like rehabilitation place and richie the big one he was saved from the pet trade and brought here he's like now like the alpha male type thing but yeah they're endangered and i think you said that the only place they are is here in borneo and sumatra um which is now in indonesia so some of the babies or like mothers they said well, five, yeah, baby. yeah they said um that they hadn't seen them for like five months between feedings so they can just come and do what they want which is what i like about this place they're still like pretty wild all right let's head back i'm tired <laughs> down she oh. <gasps> I don't even know what I got then I was like freaking out yeah. she was like right there like we were probably what like two meters away from a oh, yeah, orangutan we were less than two meters from her and she came and walked on the road and we were like okay let's go <laughs> An experience like that for ten ringgit, three dollars. I don't think you're gonna get that. I, think I don't think you. Good. I don't think you normally get that. That's for sure. Guys, I'm a little bit like, I'm a bit in disbelief or like shock of like how close I was actually to that orangutan. Like that's a once in a lifetime thing. We think like, I, he was, she was right there. I was on, like right there on the side of the road, and I was in the middle of the road. Like she was so close to me. I can't. <sighs> Oh, how, how much are these ones? My name for five ringgit. Five ringgit? Papaya for the melon four ringgit. Can I get a pineapple and a watermelon? Mm -hmm. That's nine ringgit? Thank there you. should be a tenner in there. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so we're back on the, like, back to the river where we started this morning. I'm just going to grab some food and I see something really special over there. I don't know about you. So, it's a Milo house. <laughs> Let's get some Milo as well. I just keep thinking about that orangutan. Like, I really regret not vlogging. I didn't vlog. I just took like as much video or photos as I could. And I was like scared. Like I was like, I was like excited but scared. And I didn't think like straight. I was like, am I gonna die? Like they could kill you if they wanted to. I don't know. I don't think you ever know how like you're gonna react in situations that you're like completely unprepared for so yeah, I don't know how new or old you are to my channel but I am obsessed with Milo so I am loving this Milo hut 
have a plate full of mee goreng ayam, which is chicken, and I'm just having a good lunch. I'm gonna have probably three of these mallows because the, chick uh, the chicken, the noodles are a little bit spicy for me. I'm obsessed with Milo. Tell me in the comments below if you like Milo or not. It is my favorite drink. Okay, it has just started to rain, which is quite strange because it's still sunny. So we're going to go back to the room and hopefully wait for this to pass. Even though it's beautiful out here, I think I have a feeling it's going to get worse. So, but we are going to pop out for some food later on tonight. So make sure you keep watching for that. We have some street food on things <laughs> on the way. I'm getting wet. I'm getting wet. <laughs> it's kind of still dark and black out there. But I think the rain has stopped long enough for us to go down and grab some dessert. We've already had dinner because we're waiting for the rain to pass. But I think we might just make it in a break of the rain for us to get some dessert. So let's go downstairs. And we saw a market this morning or well, this afternoon as we're walking back. So let's go check out if they're still open and what's there. It's raining again. <laughs> in the time the rain stopped and we got the camera out and decided to get some dinner, <laughs> it's raining again. Okay, so we found a break in the rain and now we are heading out to this night market. We've already had dinner. Hi! <laughs> We've already had dinner because we were starving. So now we're just trying to find some dessert or something sweet or something just to show you this night market area here in Sarawak. Let's have a look at it. Can I please get the Milo one? Milo. Milo, one. yeah. Yes, please, one. No, two. Oh, two? Oh, sorry, two. Two Milo. Yes. I am so excited. They've got Milo in Appenbalik, like a pancake thing. I'm so excited. It's Oreo and Milo. I wonder what that is. Tell me in the comments below if you know what Biasa is. Oh, it looks so good. She's spreading like butter in it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. It looks so good. I'm so excited. That one's dead. They're pet. It's dead. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, Alright, fresh off the press, it is boiling hot on my hand. She added some extra butter in that, which I don't think you like, but I like. It looks so good and juicy. Straight off the bat, not as thick as Mr. Arlo's from Pelling Street in Chinatown. He had peanuts only, you had no option or choice. Not as thick as their, their pancakes quite thinner than that. Um, and the Milo just kind of tastes like chocolate, but it doesn't taste exactly like Milo. A little bit disappointed, but I just got a crunch of peanut then, it was really good. I love pancakes. Dessert, breakfast, same, same to me. All right, I'm gonna do this backwards. I'm really wanting a one particular piece of food. Let's go see if we can find it. I know it's not like probably traditional something to have here, but I really am craving it. Let's go see if we have it. They're really oily, but I really like that. They're really good. All right, these are all mine. No more for Josie. Guys, this is a really busy market. This is really busy. It's like really hectic. There's people back to back, shoulder to shoulder. It's like one way. One line in, one line out. People lining up on either side. It's really busy here. That's cool. That's a vibe. Like everywhere in my comments, you guys have been telling me to get Milo core core or Milo core, which means like thick. So like a lot of Milo. And I saw a big pot back there that said Milo core, core, core. So we're going to go back and get that after I find my food. I actually don't know if this market is like always here or if this is like for tonight. I'm not sure. But it looks like there's a Chinese dragon um, thing on. Dragon lantern dance. It is originated in ancient times and is one of the traditional folk culture activities of the Han people. So I know it's not probably what I should eat at this market in particular, but I will say consistency at its finest. I've seen a uh, corn on the cob in the, almost every market we've been to in like any country. Don't you agree? Let's do it. Okay. How many? How much? Six ringgit. All right. You didn't even introduce what this food is. It's a corn. <laughs> it's corn. If I had a criticism, could have had a bit more butter. But yeah. it's nice and warm. It's corn. It's got the juice. <laughs> if you guys are watching this in like two years in the future, you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about. But there's a TikTok that's viral right now about corn. <laughs> I can't imagine a more beautiful thing. <laughs> I crave this all night. But you know what I'm craving even more now? My Milo core. Core core? Core. Core. I think core core to me. It's like thick thick. Does that mean double thick? Yeah, thick? does that mean double thick? So I also wanted to say really quick that before I get to my Milo down here, that I run into so many more of you than like I guess normal. Like I've seen so many people here and like met so many of you who watch my videos. So if I've met you here in Sarawak, thanks for saying hello. Milo, core core? Yeah, you want Milo? Just one. Alright, yeah. okay. Is core core like what's a Milo? Like thick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What one's your favorite? My favorite? Your favorite. 
My Fur Book, Milo. Milo, yeah, yeah, yeah same. <laughs> oh, yeah, so everything is. Thank you. For us? Perfect. All right. Teramakasi, thank you. Teramakasi. All right, I have my Milo. Oh, this is so exciting. It was his favorite too. So it's not just me. Everyone loves Milo in Malaysia. I love Corpo, it. Core though. Core core. Yeah, thick, thick. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it tastes more like sugar than Milo, but it's so good. I had someone comment on my video the other day and they said, we don't measure how long you've been in Malaysia by time, we measure by how much weight you've put on. And I would say that I've had a good time here in Malaysia. <laughs> So that was a really cool night market. It was really busy, really happening, really cool vibe. It's, I really like it here. We haven't been here for long, but it's been a really cool day here. I've actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. We weren't actually meant to come here to Sarawak. We were meant to go straight on to our next destination in Borneo. Um, basically because I didn't think I'd be able to afford to just stop here for a short amount of time before I'm um, going on. Uh, traveling is very expensive. In a few days time, it'll be nine months since we left and we've been on um, the on the run, <laughs> on the go since then for a whole nine months. And that adds up. And, you know, a lot of you guys suggest us to go to all these lovely places and we want to, but um, most of the time I can't really afford to go to all of them. Um, so we weren't going to come here, but I'm super glad we did because we've had such a good day and um, saw, you know, things I wouldn't have seen if we didn't, um, you know, try and make this work so that's really cool in saying that I'm excited to move on to our next place I'm really like kind of a little bit like nervous or like excited nervous excited because I haven't been to any of these places before like I had never had in my head that I'd go to Borneo and now I'm here like it's really cool I I never thought that I would end up here and I never thought about coming here there's been so many places I've been in the last nine months that I didn't think that I would ever go to and it's been really fun really expensive um but definitely worth it um so yeah i'm really excited to see how our next destination goes if you like this video make sure you do like and subscribe that helps me with my channel and helps me keep going to places like this and being able to show you what it's like so you can decide if you want to come here or if you're interested in knowing what places are like. Leave in the comments any suggestions you have and I, I can try and make it work if I can, if we have time, um, we have resources, but make sure you do like and subscribe if you do like my stuff and watch one of the ones on the screen because if you like this one, you'll like those ones and I will see you. Is there anything else? I think I think so, but I'll see you in the next one, in our next destination. Get excited. I'm nervous excited <laughs> and I'll see you there. Bye.